sustainability is trying to use less resources, achieve more for everybody. Not a lot of people actually know Hong Kong has um, 600 villages. If these villages can be sustainable, then that actually becomes Hong Kong's solution space for us to achieve a more sustainable Hong Kong in the wider context. But these villages are facing a lot of challenges not being sustainable. Lai Chi Wo is a very unique village in Hong Kong. It is a Hakka village with a very long history. It's very remote from the urban centre, so basically the our physical structure and the community structure actually has been maintained very intact. That provides a very good site for us to study the community. Hong We are now in Sutterkok Cross area and we are going to take the speedboat to go to Lai Chi Wall. When we first come here, uh, we feel that wow, this place is so wonderful, so beautiful. We met the villagers and we tell them we want to rejuvenate this village and we want local community to come back and more people can come here to enjoy this place. We're trying to reactivate the farmland using eco-friendly method, low carbon farming methods. And what's also very important is to help them to set up a collective management system where uh, small farms, when they are together, they can have shared resources to use. The trees over there is the papaya tree and they are all um, non-GM papaya trees. We grow coffee here. If the coffee is good, the cost efficiency is uh, feasible and also the environmental uh, results is good. We will promote to the landowners and explore a way to create a new type of crop production in Hong Kong. I think collaboration is the most important aspect uh, when we pursue and implement the project. The Lai Chi World project actually is a collaborative effort by the University of Hong Kong and stakeholders in the community to try to revitalize the village. By revitalization, we are talking more than the reintroduction of agriculture. We are trying to rebuild the community here. Cooking Chinese sauces and vegetables. We come to Lai Chi all the time and we make good friends here. We see each other as almost like a family. So I like to cook dinner, go to the farm, grow some vegetables. Most importantly is the people there. Um, they have a very strong sense of belonging. So that's why we have Lai Chi as our first case. This is a very new type of knowledge exchange, I believe, uh, in Hong Kong. We work with them, we transfer some new knowledge to our partners here. We want to be able to develop and say that this is a feasible model for us to revitalize a village community. And then this village community, not only they are vibrant, but at the same time, they do have a good sense of stewardship where they will help look after the natural environment. These two years of the Lightweight World Project development is that we try to apply some of these principles that we gather from the project and we're already applying some of these in five other villages in Hong Kong. Some of the research findings, I was able to bring those back to the classroom and share with the student. We were recognised by the international traveller's book, The Lonely Planet, being uh, one of the top Asian must-visit spot. We're very pleased to be recognised by the United Nations Development Programme, being one of the best nature-based solutions. Um, we have actually six solutions being now listed on their international database. 
條村應該點樣發展先至係啱嘅道路呢？其實而家做緊呢個試驗，我覺得係比較行得通嘅一個一個方法香港大學有呢個計劃，又多謝匯豐銀行嘅捐款，我哋先會持續落去。我希望下一代更加知道自己係荔枝窩人，世界嘅人嚟到覺得荔枝窩係好舒服，俾翻嗰一個咁嘅自然環境嘅人。We basically do not have the other Earth, so I don't usually think of what if. If this is the right direction, if this is a way forward that we have, then just go for it. <laughs>